Autumn had arrived here in Missouri. The once vibrant green leaves of the deciduous trees had now started to turn a vibrant golden yellow and orange. At night, we've been experiencing below freezing temperatures, but thankfully during the day, the temperatures warmed up so we could go out and explore. We left Stella's water out all night. Got to minus seven degrees. Pretty cold. Morning, Tara. Morning. So we've been staying at a campground due to extreme freezing temperatures. And I guess it's leaf blowing day here at the campground. This weekend also happened to fall on Canadian Thanksgiving. So, to celebrate, we treated ourselves to some pumpkin pie and whipped cream. We were staying at a local state park for a few days during some extreme temperatures at night, but during the day it warmed up quite nicely, and seeing the fall foliage around the state park only made us more excited to get out and explore and see what else the area had to offer. Who's that, Stella? Stella? Who's that? We hopped in the truck for the day with no destination in mind other than to see what rural Missouri had to offer. As we drove down and explored roads we've never been down before, we would both get excited to point out beautiful big red barns. Another sure sign that fall was on its way was to drive through these small towns and see the Halloween decorations begin to appear. And we'd also marvel at the beauty of the species of trees that had already begun to turn. To spot all the bright yellows, oranges, and reds hidden amongst the landscapes. Roaming the countryside in autumn would not be complete without exploring some local farm markets and country stores. And we found just the one. This place had everything. We are in Missouri at a country store. I don't know what it's called. The the Red, Bar Red Barn Farm? Yeah. Monday, close. Except for when we're not. The store absolutely blew our minds. It was way more than we ever expected. The store had an amazing selection of goods to buy, and its selection of jams and preserves were out of this world, making me want to try every single selection they had, including the ones I never even knew existed. But the thing that stood out to me the most was the things I didn't know until I was in the store shopping. This amazing little shop has set forth a goal to empower youth and adults with developmental disabilities to pursue their best lives. Their mission is to create a positive, structured approach that provides the foundation for early work experience, employment services, community integration, and social enrichment programs. Participants include individuals with autism spectrum disorders, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, and other developmental and intellectual disabilities. What an amazing business mission statement they had set forth for themselves. Everyone that worked there was so super helpful and kind. We couldn't be happier that we had made the stop here at this store. 
Sometimes, you never really know what you're going to come across when you go and explore with absolutely no plans in mind. We are rarely ever disappointed when we do that. And lucky for us, the Weston Red Barn Farm was just down the road. It was kind of like visiting a turn-of-the-century working farm, and its goal is to preserve the spirit of the American dream of farming. The Red Barn Farm offers visitors the opportunity to experience a real working farmstead. They feature traditional farm animals and crops found in Missouri during the 19th century. The Red Barn Farm would not be complete without a shop to sell its goods and gifts. Orange ginger garlic salt. After a full day out and about of exploring, it was time to head back to the campsite. Tomorrow was another day, and we would be hitting the road again. Stay tuned for more of our adventures. 
where we check out some of the remaining covered bridges in Missouri. We also make a stop at Jim, the Wonder Dog's hometown, and learn about some of his history and his psychic abilities. And we also make a quick stop at the burial site of David Rice Atchison, who is better known as the man who was president for a day. Thank you again. See you next time.